Hey guys, just a quick overview of the different flashes that are offered by Nikon here. Here we have the SB600, SB700, SB900. The SB700 just came out a few months ago. This is kind of the new kit on the block here. It replaces the SB600, but it's a good compromise between the 600 and the 900. In terms of overall price differences, I think this goes for about 230. You can get this for about 330, and I believe you can get this for about 340, 350-ish, depending on where you look. But yeah, definitely this guy is pretty good in terms of the overall best of both worlds. This offers features that this does not, such as you know you can use it as a remote or a commander mode, so you can trigger other flashes of this one. This one you cannot. Uh, this has a better display, has a thermal cutoff. Actually, it works better than this one here because this one it won't just shut off. I think it's got a gradual thermal indicator. They recommend that you, after 10 flashes, wait like 10 minutes to cool it down. This guy here, if it overheats, once the sensor kicks in, it, you can't use it until the temperature goes back down. This, I don't think, has anything for that. Um, in terms of the accessories, the other thing I like about the new SP700 is it's got the these nice hard case filters. This is a uh, fluorescent. And then you have the amber colored, which is if you want to match it to your tungsten lighting. And of course it has the wide angle attachment. These are kind of like the uh, stove fan aftermarket type things, but I think these are better. The SB600 does not come with any such accessory. They all come with these feet, as you can see, that allow you to stand the flash up. The SB900 also comes with the wide angle soft diffusion dome. And this is the filter holder for these. gel inserts here. Now this is where the SB700 outshines the SB900 in my opinion. This is the SB700 has these hard plastic filters that snap right in, whereas the SB900 you have to use this little sleeve to pop in the little filter gels. Kind of inconvenient. I used to have an SB28 back in the day and I remember they had these hard plastic shell type filter gels, which I really liked. I'm glad Nikon brought them back in this model here. So in terms of size, as you can see, the SB700 and 600 are pretty comparable. This is a little heavier, but in terms of overall bulk, it's not too bad. Of course, the SB900 is the beast of them all. Let's turn them around on the side where I think I get an idea. Someone joked and called these my little R2-D2s. I guess they could be. So there you go, as you can see. SP600, 700, 900. Overall profile is pretty slim. This guy's a little bigger. Let me show you the back. Here, as you can see, the SB700 has a much improved display over the SB600. SB900 still has the larger of the three displays, which is pretty nice to have. You have a lot of uh, information that's given there. Let's power these up so you can get an idea what they look like. So there you have it, kill the light so you can see it a little better. So there are the displays. Blinking out one by one. Here you have the different displays lit up here. This is the display of the SB600. 
uses just a plain green LED. This is a display of the SB700, much similar to the SB900. It's got the full information display there with the electroluminescent blue background. We have the SB900 information panel, much larger than the other two, with lots of information shown. Again, uses the cool blue electroluminescent backlit display. All right, guys, so we just saw a quick overview of the different size comparisons of the SB600, 700, and the 900. I guess for overall features and balance of price and functionality, I would definitely go with the SB700, which is our winner today. Um, the SB600 is a nice flash, don't get me wrong. It's got a very capable package here, but in terms of overall value, functionality, and some of the newer technologies, the SB700 blends well between the 6 and the 900 here. Again, if you want a complete overview of the flashes, there are plenty of websites and videos out there, but I'm going to have a quick comparison chart down in the description here. So click on the down arrow under the description and you can see some of the comparisons. All right, good luck with your strobist adventures. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.